What tanks should have been added a long time ago? Hello guys, once again it's Matt. Today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's get going guys. A lot of tanks should have been added a long time ago and yet we're still waiting for them. Here are a list of some of these vehicles. The first one is the T-72 Euro. I mean, just call it the T-72, but the Euro is basically the nickname of it, right? This is the first T-72 to ever enter in production. Uh, it entered in initial production in 1973, so it's very, very early. Uh, around six years before the A variant that we have in the game. It got a very similar armor to the T-64A from 1969. Uh, so it has basically a hull made out of composites. Um, so the hull itself has the composites, but the turret is a steel turret still. So it's a weird design, but uh, very, very interesting. Um, it had the IR spotlight on the left instead of the right. Uh, it was later changed to the right in 1974. Uh, and the funny thing is that it, until 1975, they had the gear armor plates on the side, just like the T-64A, right? It was changed to a normal rubber setting of uh, side skirts, right? And initially had an optical coincidence rangefinder, like the ones from the west. Uh, in the M60A1, for example, but also in 1975, that too changed to a laser rangefinder. So, a lot of things changed, you know, even the, the thermal shroud was added, uh, so they can even add, like, multiple modifications or something that they can add, uh, basically upgrading the T-72, right? But it is the initial T-72, guys, it's a T-72 that a lot of people love, and I don't understand, we have the A variant, which is the second produced version, uh, which had many improvements over the older one, but the T-72, the original one, is like the first one. There's no sense in not having that. It would be very similar to the T-64A, but having a little bit less armor on the turret. Uh, so because of that, maybe being added, depending on the ammunition that they add with it, at a 9.0 BR, 9.3, something similar to the T-72A and T-64A, right? Probably 9.0. Um, so, yeah. Everybody loves it, and one of the main tanks of the Soviet Union in the 70s. For the second tank, we have the FV-101 Scorpion, a light reconnaissance tank that, honestly, I just don't understand why this thing hasn't been added yet. Of course, it is pretty weird, to be honest, to be added, but still, it has a place. I mean, we have the Fox, for example, so why not have the Scorpion? Uh, this tank is actually very, very light, like 8 tons, which is very light for a tank. It has uh, an okay Jaguar engine of 190 horsepower. Uh, it is okay in speed. It's not like amazing, but it's not bad as well. Uh, and the armor, of course, the tank is made out of aluminium, so it doesn't really have any arm, proper armor, right? The gun is a 76 millimeter with um, hash, smoke, and canisters as its rounds. And of course, um, it has upgrades can, that can be done to it in the engine. Uh, even there is an exported model planned or something like that. I don't know if it was produced. They used the 90 millimeter as well. So, uh, yeah, it could be added uh, at 7.0 to 8.0 BR range, you know, something along those lines, depending on the BR of the hash. And it's a tank that I always use in RTS games and other, other things, and I never understood why the Scorpion wasn't added. Even if it has n not a lot of armor and no penetration in the gun, I mean... Come on, it's too iconic to not be added. More than 3,000 of these things were built over the years, right? Uh, so, yeah. Continuing with the trend of light vehicles, we have the LAV, but not any LAV. The LAV-25, guys. The LAV with the 25mm Bushmaster cannon from the Bradley that we have in the, g in the game. Of course, this LAV would be very similar to the LAV-AD that we have. The same platform, of course, as an APC. But the turret would be different with the 25mm, as I said, right? Everything else would be pretty much the same. It is almost unarmed, uh, un unarmored, sorry. Uh, but the thing is the, the power. I mean, it has a lot of power in the sense of engine, you know? And it can get to up to 100 km per hour. So it's a tank that it's very fast, very similar to something like a BTR 80A, right? Uh, so it should be around 7.0, 7.3 BR. And. Again, honestly, I mean, do I even have to say anything else? Why isn't it the LAV-25 added to the game? Doesn't make any sense. But talking about BTRs, of course, I had to include one that I think it will be added soon enough. But still, the ultimate BTR, the BTR-90. 
this is a very big upgrade to the older BTR-80. Um, not many were built, but still, it is a very interesting tank that was uh, improved in many, many instances um, to be better in many scenarios, right? Uh, in the gun departments, it still uses the good old 2A46 30mm gun, the same one as in the BMP-2. It also would, could get a Concourse ATGM, the same as in the BMP-2 as well. So, it is very similar to the BMP-2, apart from the mobility and the armor, right? It would be like a, a lighter or faster, less armored uh, BMP-2 That's and wield, you know? Uh, because it has the same gun, the same ATGM, and that's pretty much it. So the BR, depending on the thermal setting that it has on the sighting system, could be around 8.7, 9.0, something along those lines, right? So nothing too crazy, but um, again, this tank is... I mean, the BTR-80A, I understand, like, there is nothing else that could come before those tanks, you know, like the 60, the 70, the normal 80, they only have a KPVT as a gun, so it's not really doable to have those tanks unless it's like a very low BR. Uh, but the BTR-80A got added, and the BTR-90 is the upgrade to it. I honestly just don't understand why this tank is not in the game yet. And the last one, a bonus idea here, guys. Something I, I've already did a video on, but to be honest, there's still... I, I still think it's worth mentioning. More East German tanks to the Germans, guys. There are many, many gaps that can be filled. I already talked about it. I will leave um, a video in the cards. And, I mean, T-54s, T-55s, BMP-2s, Strelas, and many, many other vehicles. Uh, those, All of those should be added 100% to the German tech tree, right? I mean, we even have other nations receiving some of these vehicles sometimes with like other sub-trees, like, for example... The Hungarians receiving a BTR 80A and other vehicles like that, right? Uh, in the Italian tech tree. And the Germans uh, that were actually using on their own soil, it's not a sub tree. I mean, it's an actual German like army vehicle, right? Uh, it's not added to the game. So, honestly, it doesn't make any sense in my head. Um, I, I understand, I mean, they have the T 72M, we have the BMP 1, but it's not enough. It's not nearly enough. We need more of those. And these are the tanks I think should have been added a long, long time ago. All of them uh, have a place in the game. Of course, they're not top tier vehicles, but they all should have a place in the game. They're all vehicles that a lot of people love and a lot of people would just find it interesting as well. I mean, um, all of them are vehicles that I seen for 10 years, people, not 10 years because the ground forces don't exist for that long. But at least like four or five years, people asking for these vehicles uh, or something along those lines. Not may maybe not that many years, but still. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and leave it in the comments. What else you think should should have been added a long, long time ago in the tank department? See you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye.